Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to Q2 of the weekly contest 276. Minimum number of moves to reach target score. Um, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this prom. So, this prom, the core part of it is going to be greedy. I stopped in about two minutes. Um, yeah, you can watch me stop it live next, but the idea is greedy. And what do I mean by greedy, right? Meaning that anytime, you know, you for there are only two things you can do increment and double. Um, and you, you're given a, you can only double X amount of times, right? And then the idea is that um, you want your doubling to give you to to basically you want doubling or your yeah you want your doubling to kind of um, to give you the most benefit as possible, right? And the most benefit as possible is by um, by and you could do it another way, which is by looking at backwards. Uh, and because if you look at it backwards and you t instead of doubling and you half the, the score, then you know that you always want to half when the number is biggest, right? So you don't have to worry about, hey, will I double in the future? Will I not double in the future, right? Because that is, um, because if you do look at it backwards, then you always do the greedy thing. And that's basically the idea here. Um, the code is a little bit yucky, but, but basically we're moving instead of going from that is one of the trick of this problem is going from instead of target to double um uh oh sorry from from one to instead of going from one to target you go from target to one um and then given that given that constraint so while target is greater than one um if it is a even number and you could half it meaning that there was a previous move that could double it um then you just you half the number you you use one double and then you use one move right that's excuse me that that's basically it um if there's no more doubles then you you have to do it increments the rest of the way um this one technically i mean you act, i mean well it is necessary for this problem but if you don't do it um it's going to be really slow because target could be 10 to the 9 and a very naive example is if max double is zero then then you know to, you, you're going to want to loop that is really, really long and slow, right? So that's basically the idea. Um, and then otherwise, you subtract one and you increment move by one. And of course, this only happens in an odd number because you know that if this is a even number, then we would, and if there are max doubles, we'd have halved it already and then we would have looped again. Um, so this only happens to an odd number. And of course, it only takes one move to go from an odd number to a even number. So you know that the next move, it's going to half again. So yeah. So what is the complexity of this? This is going to be linear time in the number of bits. And of course, the number of bits is looking at the binary number of the target and and then doing a bit at a time. And it's, the, and, and it's linear in the number of bits because every, every two, every two um, loops, of, at most two loops of this, uh, a while loop and most two loops you're gonna half right because either either you take a half every time or every whatever time or if this does if this isn't true then you um then this happens and then it go goes back to here next time right so therefore at most every two steps you're going to to you know take a half and therefore it is log target which is of course linear in, the, in terms of the size of the input um, and as far as, of course, the space is, um, this is going to be um, log target, which is also, well, it's actually, um, yeah, that's a very awkward thing, right? So moves is going to be at most log target, which takes log log target um, to, to represent. So that technically moves can be represented in log n, but of course, if you, uh, you know, because the minimum is 32 bit int, I guess. So it's going to be 32 bit, which is, I guess, is a constant anyway. Um, anyway, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think, and you could watch me solve a live then contest next. Oh, it's a little bit, uh, takes too much. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> I feel like this is a known thing, but I don't.
Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem. How do you think I solved it? How did you solve it? Uh, just, you know, come to Discord and chat about anything. There's enough people and everyone is smart. So, yeah. Anyway, that's all I have. S give me some love because this was a terrible contest. But uh, stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. And I'll see you later. Bye bye.